In Kolmogorov's probability theory, the probability P of some event E, denoted, is usually defined such that P satisfies the Kolmogorov axioms. Named after the famous Russian mathematician Andrei Kolmogorov, which are described below, these assumptions can be summarized as follows. Let be a measure space with P equals 1, then is a probability space, with sample space omega, event space F and probability measure P, an alternative approach to formalizing probability, favored by some Bayesians, is given by Cox's theorem, axioms. First axiom the probability of an event is a non-negative real number, whereas the event space, in particular, is always finite, in contrast with more general measure theory. Theories which assign negative probability relax the first axiom. Second axiom this is the assumption of unit measure. That's the probability that some elementary event in the entire sample space will occur is 1. More specifically, there are no elementary events outside the sample space. This is often overlooked in some mistaken probability calculations, if you cannot precisely define the whole sample space then the probability of any subset cannot be defined either. Third axiom this is the assumption of sigma additivity. Any countable sequence of disjoint sets satisfies some authors consider merely finitely additive probability spaces, in which case one just needs an algebra of sets, rather than a sigma algebra. Quasi-probability distributions in general relax the third axiom. Consequences from the Kolmogorov axioms, one can deduce other useful rules for calculating probabilities. The probability of the empty set monotonicity the numeric bound it immediately follows from the monotonicity property that proofs. The proofs of these properties are both interesting and insightful. They illustrate the power of the third axiom, and its interaction with the remaining two axioms. When studying axiomatic probability theory, many deep consequences follow from merely these three axioms. In order to verify the monotonicity property, we set and wefer. It is easy to see that the sets are pairwise disjoint and, hence, we obtain from the third axiom that since the left-hand side of this equation is a series of non-negative numbers, and that it converges to which is finite, we obtain both an the second part of the statement is seen by contradiction. If then the left-hand side is not less than infinity if then we obtain a contradiction, because the sum does not exceed which is finite. Thus, we have shown as a byproduct of the proof of monotonicity that further consequences. Another important property is, this is called the addition law of probability or the sum rule. That is, the probability that A or B will happen is the sum of the probabilities that A will happen and that B will happen, minus the probability that both A and B will happen. The proof of this is as follows. Now, eliminating from both equations gives us the desired result. This can be extended to the inclusion-exclusion principle, that is, the probability that any event will not happen is 1 minus the probability that it will. Simple example, coin toss. Consider a single coin toss, and assume that the coin will either land heads or tails. No assumption is made as to whether the coin is fair. We may define, Kolmogorov's axioms imply that, the probability of neither heads nor tails is zero. The probability of either heads or tails is one. The sum of the probability of heads and the probability of tails is one.